How to lose weight without counting calories. Stay until the end, I have an important power tip on exercise for you. Let's get right into it. You can learn a lot from your dog when it comes to diet. He eats the same food every day, never complains, never has any problems. What happens when you switch his food? Digestive issues, bloating, gas, diarrhea. What does this mean for you? In terms of weight loss, too much variety is not your friend. The better you can process food, the easier it will be for you to facilitate weight loss, especially since you don't want to count calories or macros. So you want to eat the same foods six, preferably seven days a week while you're on a specific weight loss program. What does that look like? A typical day could be, I'll give an example of how I eat. Uh, I have eggs few whole eggs in there with vegetables and some oatmeal for lunch. Protein source could be chicken, turkey, fish, um, a carb, rice, potato, and uh, always get that vegetable in there as well. Then for dinner, you want to do the same. Protein source, clean carb, vegetable. If you have four meals, use that for your fourth meal as well. Which leads to portion control. When you take your dog to the vet, based on his appearance and weight, the vet will either increase his portions if he's too light, decrease the portions if he's too heavy, or he'll tell you, stay right there if he's maintaining his weight and he looks healthy. You could adjust the same way without counting calories. Once you're eating the same foods throughout the week, then what you can do is simply make those adjustments to your portions. It's a lot easier than having to count calories and macros. Which leads to meal timing. If you feed your dog on an irregular schedule, she's gonna wanna eat when it's not time to eat. And the same happens with us. What happens is, if your meals are irregular and haphazard, there's gonna be times where you're gonna be starving, and there's gonna be other times where it's time to eat and you're not gonna to wanna to eat. But once you get in, locked into a rhythm of your meal schedule, you're gonna process that food, it's gonna make weight loss much easier. Find a meal schedule that works for you and then stick to it. Doesn't have to be complicated. Three meals, four meals, doesn't matter, but make sure the intervals and the meals are the same pretty much throughout the week. Six days, preferably seven. Again, this is the key to contributing to successful weight loss. Snacks and cheat meals. What about them? Dogs don't crave snacks and cheat meals. That's unless you give it to them. That's really the only way they have access to those foods. Unfortunately, you have unlimited access to snacks and cheat meals. I have my clients who are following this type of eating plan just cut out snacks altogether. Just be done with them for a period of time, especially if they haven't lost any weight at all. Doesn't mean you can't eat out. Eating out is fine. Just keep it simple. If you follow protein, clean carb, vegetable, you'd be able to eat out every day of the week if you wanted to, as long as uh, you're following that rule. Now, if you've lost five, maybe even 10 pounds, then a dirty cheat meal will, will be okay. It's not gonna hurt you at that point. As long as you know you're having it maybe once a week max but I consider a cheat meal anything that is off your regular diet plan but just be reasonable don't get crazy with the portions the cheat itself will satisfy you but where you hurt yourself is when you start going with big portions think instead of a slice or two of pizza you eat the whole pizza you don't want to do that don't go away just yet Got a power tip for you. Dogs walk every day. You should too. Dogs do resistance training. You should too. Dogs do high interval training. You should too as well. When a dog gets to the dog park, he gets right into it. Doesn't waste time. And you should too as well. When you get to the gym, don't waste time. When was the last time you saw a dog on his cell phone at the dog park? Well, unfortunately, I see you all the time on your phone at the, at the gym. If you can just get off the phone 
that's gonna make you look like you're more serious right there. The people I see who are in shape and are serious, they're not on their phones. You shouldn't be either. I, I really shouldn't speak in absolutes, but the phone is one of the things that, it's a pet peeve of mine. It just, it just makes you look amateurish, like you're just there to socialize or whatever. I don't know what you're doing. Watch this video next. Thanks so much for watching.